I came back here last night. I was going to spend the night in a cave I found a few years ago. And I'm, I continue to come up on stuff like this. Just the other side of this one, there's just a solid wall of poison oak. Coming from the stream, all the way up to that oak tree back there. It's totally impassable. It's totally overgrown. I can't make it back there. Give you an idea of what I'm talking about is, look at this. See that? Leaves of three will hurt me. Poison oak. Summertime starts to turn, actually springtime starts to turn like that. Summertime it dries up, but even the dry vines can get you. But look at this. Look at how much is here. Just totally cannot get past this stuff. Definitely nature's way of saying keep out. Look at that. I hate that stuff. This is what I brought in, what I'm preparing. At the end of the video, I'll show you how you prep it at home to bring it in. It can be frozen, carried in, and used the second morning. Find a nice shady spot here to go ahead and make breakfast. Show you a different way. I'm gonna go ahead and get my water out of here. It's flowing pretty good. What I'm making doesn't. I only boil it in a bag. Oh yeah. Since you saw this last time, I customized it a little bit. Check it out. I don't know if you can see it really good, but it's the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Death dealer with a butterfly on his finger. I'll show you a closer up. Some better lighting. water snake bite kit I'm alone I need one of these Esbit stove survival kit uh, trash bag a large super large one I use this for laying down on and the heat sheet that's it get the Esbit stove going fuel cube. Got some extra. It'll probably take two. I've got these at an angle so it'll fit this cut. Okay, inside here. Put in two bags in case one leaks. You've got your uh, you've got two eggs, some sauteed onions, mushrooms, and bell pepper. When you put it in the Ziploc baggie, just roll it, fold it, get all the air out of it, then you seal it. After that, you boil it in the bag. You got yourself an omelet. No frying, nothing. This will all, this should all get it all to drip down to one side. And uh, instant omelet. I was sitting here and I felt something come down and hit my hat. Look at this. What the hell this is? I don't know. It's freaky though. Look at that thing. Look at the size of that thing. Look, here's my hand. Dang! <laughs> That's got a stinger. I don't want to know about it. It's starting to boil, but it needs to boil for a while. The cube's almost gone. Someone put another cube in there. Good old Esbit. By the time that cube's done, I'll have an omelet. It's 
It's almost done now. I had to add another bag. If you can help it, you don't want your bag to touch this. It's hard to do it in such a small pot. You use a bigger pot, works great. But since it's almost done, I'll just hold it away. It'll be done in a minute or so. It's really boiling now. This is for John, tense angler. Check it out, John. It's trout rising. Look at it. There's trout rising. Look at this. It's everywhere. There's trout all over here. Watch. See if I can catch them. See them? They're rising all over the place. I shook this limb and a bunch of ants fell in the water here. And now the ants are floating downstream here. And the trout, oh wow, there's tons of them. The trout are coming up and nailing the ants. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look at that, did you see that one? About 10, 12 inches. Oh, there's another one. They are everywhere. Dude, I'm coming back here tomorrow with my fly rod. <laughs> <laughs> They're darting out from under this bank, coming up and hitting the ants. Look, you see how far the ants have gone now. They're way down there. They're hitting way down there. Right on, John. Tense angler. <laughs> I'm going to do some intense. Oh, look at that. Did you see that one? Another one. I'm going to do some intense angling right here tomorrow. Oh no, I can't tomorrow. This weekend. There are dozens and dozens of trout right here. Look at this, tail flips. Okay, it took actually took three esbit cubes. But um, there it is. You got your mushroom, onion, and your bell pepper. And this... I could actually use that for tea if I wanted to, but I did it on wet ground, so it's already cool. I'll clean it up when I get home. Rocks, wet ground, make sure you don't catch anything on fire. I'll clean this up and show you this at home too. <laughs> Looking at a butterfly. This side. This rope belt. Anyway, let me eat and then I'll get out of here. I'm having breakfast. Trout are having breakfast. Whatever those bugs are up there are having breakfast. These gnats and mosquitoes are having breakfast. A lot of the guys at my work, while they're working, they got their little iPads. They're all on the internet all day. A lot of them are watching my videos. Well guys, when you get off work, you work days. When you get off work, you go home, watch TV, have a few beers, go to sleep. When I get off work, I come up here, get some sleep next to the river, wake up, have breakfast, sometimes go fishing, go hiking, and make the videos that you're watching. Nights had its drawbacks, mostly sucks. But in some ways, I get a few benefits that, um, I wouldn't if I work days. Rocks are back. Leave no trace, guys. Check it out. I got out of there relatively early. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you'll be able to, but it's, oh yeah, 11.04. Which means I have time to go home and pack another pack take a shower, go to work, get off tomorrow night, get off tonight, tomorrow morning around 1 a.m., 
I'm gonna head to Mount Baldy. So, coming attractions. <laughs> coming attractions tomorrow night, tonight, tomorrow morning, Mount Baldy. I don't know if I'll take my Shangri-La, my Hennessy, I'm not sure. Here's a, a look at the, above the dam. I'm almost out of the canyon. There's no fishing in here, but I know a guy who knows the guy who knows the guy who's worked his way down here by that oak. From that oak, it's a straight drop off about 30 feet. I know a guy who knows the guy who knows the guy who owns a blue rope. A bunch of knots in it about every 10 feet. You go over and down here, right off that bank down there, seven pound rainbow with a night crawler out there. There's no way to fly fish. I suppose you could fly fish over there, but if you're seen, you're going straight to jail. There's no trespassing signs everywhere. Not to say that, not to say that I have ever been down there, but if I did, right in that area there, seven pound rainbow, caught and released because from here, I had to go back to work. What am I gonna do with a seven pound rainbow at work? But I know there's some bigger ones. Look at that cove back there. Maybe this is the range, San Gabriel Mountains. Looking south. Looking north. And of course you got your east. Other side of this is the Mount Baldy Village. Other side of that, right back there is Glendor Ridge Road. It goes over to Baldy. My chariot awaits. This is what you're looking to do. Just saute the mushrooms, onions, bell peppers all together. Let them cool, put them in a baggie. Add a couple eggs, throw in the refrigerator. Boil in a bag breakfast. <laughs> 